Martin Vergarnest is starring in a new TV show called Artfully Designed, bringing his vibrant and abstract art style into people's homes. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris sat down with him to talk about the show and why the Upstate holds such special meaning to him. For years, it was just an outlet, you know, again, to, to focus on peace and get back to center. An outlet turned career. Now, wherever Frankie Zombie goes, vibrant and bold artwork tends to follow. Being that when I first started painting, financially I was like dead broke, so I didn't have enough money to use these, these expensive canvases, so I would just paint on anything I would get my hands on, really. Cars, pianos, murals, all the abstract art skills that led him to Magnolia TV. Artfully designed, uh, actually like happened by accident. The new show streaming on Discovery Plus follows Frankie, another artist and an interior designer as they artfully transform clients' homes in Charlotte. We just want to create and help people expand their imagination and just realize everything in life is, is actually a canvas. Frankie's been a full-time artist for five years. His career started after he moved to Spartanburg and learned his mother had breast cancer. And it was bigger than me at that point. I was able to service and inspire others and bring some type of peace through the arts. So uh, I, I realized at that point God had put that as my purpose. And if you want to see some of Frankie's art, you don't have to go too far. He has work all across Spartanburg, including right here at the Bethlehem Community Center. Other pieces can be found in alleyways or on the side of buildings. Frankie's also painted cars for NASCAR. As his career grows, he hopes his art continues to inspire. Now I can help that young person uh, that sees no outlet in their neighborhood realize that physically you can do this as well. You know, I can also help uh, young black and brown children realize uh, I'm from your city of Spartanburg, South Carolina as well. You can do this too. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.